Hello and welcome back for another reading vlog. This week might look a bit different and I'll explain that in a moment but I first want to acknowledge the fact that this is a very fancy formal setup with my microphone. I, I was filming a TikTok before this so I just thought I would begin the vlog in this setup as well. The rest of the vlog quality will go downhill slightly because I won't be using my microphone every time I film a clip, sadly. Um, I just need to learn to talk louder without the microphone. Um, first going to go over what I've been reading this past week so far. Um, I've been reading Lux by Jennifer L. Armantrout. So this is a bind up of books one and two, Obsidian and Onyx. And this is a very random pick for me. I don't even know how this book series came onto my radar a long time ago. Found this second hand, this bind up. This is a young adult um, alien romance. That sounds really intense when you say it like that. A 17 year old moves next door to a bunch of aliens. They've got unique powers with the stars and obviously things go down, things happen. I think it's a five book series from 2014 and this is a very random pick for me. I never read a young adult anymore um, unless I'm rereading old favourites but even though I've never read this series before it's a very nostalgic read. It's very 2014-2012-esque and I'm having fun with it. It is a really long book but it's obviously a bind up. Um, yeah, it's totally ridiculous, but let me know if you read this back in the day. Um, I feel like I might just pick up the rest of the books if I can find them cheaply secondhand because, yeah, it's ridiculous, but it's been quite a quite cleansing read in between other big books. Uh, the next book I think I'm going to pick up um, is going to be Our Share of Night by Mariana Enriquez. I think this was translated from Spanish. I just did my book haul for uh, my Waypoint July book box and it came a bit late, not to worry. Um, this massive book was in here, uh, over 700 pages, uh, translated from Spanish as I said and it's a horror and I've never heard of this before, I've never seen it. The cover looks so intriguing and the back has really really um, gripped me so I'm definitely going to be picking this up after a uh, finishing Lux, which is going to be a massive shift in genre from young adult uh, fantasy romance with aliens to a very intense horror, it looks like. Um, yeah, about exploiting people's abilities to commune with the dead and the demonic, presiding over macabre rituals where the unwanted and the disappeared are tortured and executed, sacrificed to the darkness. Now they want a successor and their sights are trained on Gaspar, who... Um, is a young boy at the start of this book. Um, yeah, it's very highly rated and reviewed, a massive chunk and yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick this up next even though it's a totally wrong time of year, it's August, but uh, what the heck, I'm a mood reader and this has grasped my attention. Now today's Saturday, the 5th of August. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, the 6th of August is gonna be a bit unique but I'm gonna take you along with me um, even though I won't be getting any reading done probably tomorrow. My sister and I have our own small business called Ferran. Um, a link is always in the description. We sell candles and wax melts and we're actually doing our very first in-person market. Um, it's in Trades Hall in Glasgow and it's the Gothic Market and it'll be tomorrow but obviously last week as you're watching this. Um, I thought I'd take you along and show you some clips, um, setting up the market, um, showing you some of the things that we sell and yeah just thought it'd be quite fun to make this vlog a bit more interesting. As I say I won't be reading anything tomorrow and um, we're going to be very very busy setting up the market, being at the market all day in Glasgow and then obviously packing up and bringing everything home so wish us luck that um, it goes well for us and we would love to do more in-person markets in the future. Um, but yeah, our smell business is still still growing and expanding and yeah, I'm excited to take you along with us as we do that and I'll get some clips for you. So that's the little update for Saturday. It's early afternoon and I think in between helping my sister set up and organise and everything to take for the market tomorrow, I really hope to finish Lux because I'm only 200, just shy of 200 pages from the end and this is a very, very quick and fast read because it's a young adult. It's an easy but easy read. So I'm hoping to finish this tonight and it'll probably be Monday at this point. I'll start our share of night. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you there and I'll check back in with you probably later this evening.
it's two days later. I had every intention of vlogging at the market yesterday with my small candle business, but to be honest, I just completely forgot. I It was so hectic and busy. It was the World Cycling Championships in Glasgow City Centre. Um, um, it was heaving, the trains were delayed and late and jam-packed. The town was super busy and it meant we couldn't take our car in. So we had to take three massive heavy suitcases full of all our candles and wax melts uh, on the train with us into town, uh, my sister and I, and it was very heavy and very hard work. And then we got set up at the market and such. I'll insert some uh, video clips and some photographs of the market so you can see all our wonderful products. Uh, we had a really lovely time at our first market. It was such a fun experience and was really, really exciting for our small business. Um, it's the first time we've done something like that with it. We've only ever really sold our products online. So we are excited to perhaps do more markets in the future and would like to do one at Christmas time. Um, if you're about in Glasgow or Central Belt, Scotland, I'll tell you closer to the time when we're doing a Christmas market if you want to see our stuff in person. Otherwise, links in the description if you want to shop candles online. Uh, but yeah, I had every intention. It just was not at the top of my priority list. Um, I ended up filming for the business's social media account instead and not filming for you guys, which is a shame. But with that, I only read like 10 pages last night before I fell asleep um, just to kind of keep my storygraph story streak going because uh, I'm very neurotic in that way. But it is Monday lunchtime now and I have finished Lux by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Just checking I got her name right there. <laughs> this was really fun. It has so much nostalgia, even though I've never read it before. Uh, very much um, mid-2010s YA... Not, not dystopian, but it feels like it could head that way. Um, it's Alien came to Earth. Um, there's lots of betrayers and secret hidden people who are trying to find out the aliens. It's not at all like I Am Number 4. But it's kind of like I am number four, <laughs> if you've read those books. I read quite a few of them. I don't think I ever finished the series. I think I aged out and just didn't continue reading them. But this was a huge chunk of a book because it's a bind up of books one and two. I'm definitely going to go on to World of Books and see if I can get the next three books in the series second hand as well. Because I'm interested in finishing it. It has been good fun. Um, and we're just now delving into more of the secrets and the betrayals of people and what magical alien powers people have got and what people don't have um so it's just kind of getting juicy as you'll see and my last vlog clip which would have been saturday uh i said that i was going to read our shade of night next which i got from my waypoint books book box subscription uh, i've decided that i'm gonna not start this quite yet because i have spoken to a friend and we might be buddy reading it um, which would be really fun for horror because we can maybe have theories and suss things out. Um, so I'm going to wait until they get back to me before it finish, uh, starting this book to see. So all that to say, this has been a very long clip. Sorry, very rambly. I'll show you my cats in a minute and maybe that'll be more exciting than my face. Um, I've decided I'm going to start The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. I read Juniper and Thorn and absolutely fell in love with her writing. That book was amazing and I'm very much eager to pick up uh, her backlist and her new books are out as well. Uh, so I'm going to pick up this next and I think it will be, will be a good fun read. As I've just said, it's Monday lunchtime. So that is prime cat napping time. Here's Calcifer in an Illumicrate book box. Um, and he is loving life. This box has been through the ringer, but it is a favourite box and we've had it for months. As you can see with all the little teethy chomp marks around it, the kitten has been at it. Um, but this is a favourite box and I don't know if I'll ever be allowed to get rid of it until it collapses into a tiny little heap. But he is a very happy boy here, guarding the water bowl with his little bow tie on. You can't even see, it's all hidden. And then the chaotic kitten that is now four months old likes to just pass out uh, in the weirdest spots. So this is him here being absolutely adorable. Oh, hello. Hi, Haku. Oh, big stretch. Um, so yeah, he's just 
guarding the curtain and he likes to just sleep any random which way. Hi. Being really cute. So I thought that would be much more exciting than hearing me talk rubbish or more. And as always, uh, their shared Instagram is linked below as well if you would rather watch more videos of them being utterly adorable. But uh, that'll be all for now and I'll check back in with you later on tonight about how much I've read. Hello, it's now Tuesday. I started The Wolf and the Woodsman by Eva Reed. I've read 184 pages so far today. I don't think I'll read any more. I've kind of read out for today. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I read, as I said, Juniper and Thorn by Eva Reed and really loved it. And The Wolf and the Woodsman is her first book. Um, so it's fun going back and reading that. Haku is being very cute and cuddly just now. Um, it's fun going back and reading that. I'm enjoying the characters. She seems to write very tortured and troubled souls very well. Um, but it's fun. Where are you going? <laughs> very sleepy. But that's a fair view. <laughs> and I've also just been playing more Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. So that's probably just going to be my next wee while before I need to make some dinner. Uh, what have you been reading this week? Oh, where are you going? And I've made it to Wednesday. I wasn't intending to start this vlog clip with Haku, but he's been whinging and whining for me to pick him up and to cuddle him. So you'll just have to imagine that I'm holding up my current read, which is The Wolf and the Woodsman by Eva Reed. As I just said in the last clip, I need to remember in vlogs that although it's been a day for me, it has been five seconds for you. <laughs> I'm a bit out of practice for that. What are you doing? Are you on a shelf? Um, anyway, I'm all over the place. I read about 90 something pages today. I won't get any more read as I'm out visiting a friend for dinner tonight um, and visiting her cat because you know if you're visiting someone who's got a cat it's the cat you're actually visiting not the person. Uh, that's just the rules, that's just the way it works. But halfway through and I'm still enjoying it but it feels like the first half of this book these two main characters have been on a quest to find this thing and then they're just like backtracked and it's just strange so I just feel like I don't know if you could hear the cat there crying at me why are you yelling why are you yelling let's come down why are you shouting and now you're quiet Sit on the floor then. Sorry. <laughs> He's being very needy. Yes, it's these two characters on this quest, as you do in fantasy, to look for this thing and then they almost got there and then they're backtracking and it just seems like, what was the point? Um, it was quite a slow go of it at the beginning and I'm just unsure what's going to happen where this is going but I'm enjoying it and I'm interested to see how the relationship with the two characters kind of goes and yeah I'm hoping I'll finish the book tomorrow but I'm unsure if I'll manage that because I've got a fair bit to read to finish it tomorrow but we'll see I won't get any more read today because I'm going out um yeah so I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow and now it's Thursday <laughs> I finished The Wolf and the Woodsman today uh during my quiet hours at work and uh during my lunch break I enjoyed this. I didn't love it. Um, I much, much prefer Juniper and Thorn. I thought the storyline of this was just a bit more nonsensical and not in a good way. Um, I felt for like the first half of the book it was really slow and 
I struggled with the backtracking of things and it just seemed like the characters, the main characters with what their plan was and what they were doing and their motivations just changed too much and didn't seem to make sense. Like the changes and the pivoting, it just, yeah, it, the first two thirds of the book went too slowly and the last third was all crammed together and a bit, not necessarily rushed, but the pacing just felt a bit strange. Um, and I didn't fall in love with all the kind of main focal characters as much as you would perhaps hope to in a story like this. And I just whacked myself in the face. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still enjoyed it. It was still a good read. But because I read Juniper and Thorn first, I thought I would love this more. And it's a bit disappointing that I haven't. But I'm glad I read it. And I can't wait to read, I think, the third book that Ava Reed has out it's called A Study in Drowning. I don't know if it's out yet. I know there's been lots of people online who've had arcs and, and things like that out. Um, so I might need to wait a bit longer before I can get my hands on a copy. And she's also got a book due out next year too, I think. So I really do want to keep an eye on this author and continue reading her books because I loved Juniper and Thorn so much. So we shall see. My next book I'm going to pick up is uh, One Salt Sea by Shauna Maguire and this is the fifth book in the October Day series. If you watched my last vlog you'll know that I was reading a book of hers in that video as well. This is going this is a really really long series. I think there's 16 books out already. So I try to read a book in between every couple of other books I'm reading just so that I don't sicken myself with the series by reading them all back to back but also I don't leave them too far apart that I forget what's going on. So this is book five so it's an urban fairy tale murder mystery fantasy series. I don't know if any of those words made sense together. Um, it's urban fantasy set in San Francisco. It's magic, it's fae, it's this kind of secret hidden world away from the humans and your main pivotal character is a private investigator and a lot of the time she's investigating murders, mysteries and disappearances to do with fae kind set in San Francisco. <laughs> See that was better. So this is book five, so I can't obviously share too much, but I'm enjoying it. But I really love Shauna Maguire, so I'm just excited to kind of continue and pick up uh, this book. And they look thick and chunky, but it's a mass market paperback, so it's not as long as it appears to be. So this is what I'm going to pick up for the rest of um, this afternoon. Um, I finished work at half three, so I'm going to pick up this for a little while. Um, this will be what I'll be reading tomorrow, Friday, on the last day of this vlog. So I'll catch you then. And now it's Friday, the last day of this reading vlog. Um, I did indeed start One Salt Sea. Um, October Day is trying to help find two missing children of a duchy of undersea. And there's more political shenanigans going on. I hope you can't hear that dog that's howling outside <laughs> in the back of this. <laughs> Sorry. Got the windows open because it's absolutely boiling tonight. Um, so yeah, I read about 60 odd pages of this today and yeah, I'm enjoying it. I do think this series has the potential to end up being quite samey samey and a bit dragging because there are 16, 17 books out. Um, but I am enjoying it and I'm just going to treat it like a series that's kind of like a long running TV series and I'm just going to dip in and out it in between other books. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't think this series is for everyone because people will just be like, you're dragging it on too long. But I'm enjoying it anyway. And I think the characters and the world and the magic is engaging and intriguing. And then just for something slightly different from what I've been reading lately, I finally decided to start uh, Watchmen. I've wanted to read this for a long time. I loved the film that came out many moons ago and I've read Alan Moore's The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen um, graphic novel as well. And I thought that was excellent. This is quite hard to tell what page I'm on because it's a bind up of all the comics and each comment, each comic is numbered individually. But yeah, I'm interested to see how this differs from the film. If the film is just an amalgamation story of all the comics or if it's just its own storyline. Um, but yeah, this is a very dark, very anti-hero story. Um, but I think it's going to be a fun one. I was initially going to read Saga Volume 10. Um, they took a hiatus between Volumes 9 and 10 um, and they initially said that they weren't going to possibly continue Saga, they weren't sure yet. Um, but they finally 
decided to come back and they released volume 10. I think I'm a bit late to noticing they've released it but it's been a good few years since I've read Saga but I might need to do a reread of all nine previous graphic novels because I've kind of half forgotten a bit of what's going on and I don't want to read volume 10 and just be utterly confused because it's a graphic novel series that I absolutely love and there's so many amazing characters and story plots so I want to do it justice so that's why I picked up Watchmen instead for a change of pace. But anyway, I'm really really pleased with what I got read this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and again I'm gutted that I never took any footage to show you vlog-wise from the gothic market. Um, we're planning on doing another market again in a few months for Christmas possibly. Um, I'm definitely going to remember to film there because I think it would be really fun to see a bit of behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, I'd love to have a chat with you in comments, see what you read this week. How is your reading going? Are you in a reading slump? Is this weather making you want to read or not want to read? Because it's really really hot and the reason I did this video was to kind of keep my reading momentum going because I've just not wanted to read as much lately. So we'll see if I take a bit of a break for a few days. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.